This is a brief overview of Abiflexi Capture with further demonstration of its possible application for processing of some paper documents. Paper documents are remaining one of the most important sources of data for business processes. Therefore, the faster the data is captured from the documents, the more efficient and competitive your business is. There is a need for quick and accurate solution to convert paper documents into digital formats and capture of necessary data. And this is exactly what Abiflexi Capture does. It receives documents from various sources such as scanner or hot folder. Then it makes uh, separation, classification and uh, capture of necessary information for further export of uh, this information into databases and the initial documents are also converted and saved into searchable and editable formats. So one may say that Abiflexi Capture is a single entry point for all your paper documents. And I am really not exaggerating when I am saying all your documents. Abiflexi Capture can handle any types of documents, structured, semi-structured, or even unstructured. In structured documents, the position of uh, needed information is fixed and never changes from one document to another. Good examples are questionnaires, exam papers, insurance claims, or tax returns. In semi-structured documents, only part of the fields with necessary information has fixed position. Position of other important fields can change from one document to another. Good examples are invoices, orders, or way bills. For instance, almost every company has its own design of the invoice. In unstructured documents, such as letters, contracts, or agreements, position of needed information is always changing from one document to another. But even such documents, as I already told, can be processed with Abiflexi Capture. Now let's take a look at possible way of use of Abiflexi Capture. Imagine that during your working day you are receiving via email a uh, number of different documents saved in various graphic formats such as TIFF, PDF, JPEG or BMP. And depending on type of document, you have to uh, get uh, certain information and save it in uh, different Excel files. For instance, if you are receiving a utility bill, it is necessary to save uh, its uh, date of issue, uh, payable amount, uh, and uh, due date of the payment. Uh, the same for telephone bills and internet bills but also you are receiving some registration forms from your partners and uh, this data is uh, hand printed and it also has to be uh, registered in a separate Excel file. Also from time to time you are receiving invoices and uh, from the invoices it is necessary to get the date, customer name, a payable amount and to save it into other Excel file which is uh, uh, monitored by your accountant for instance. So all this information can be entered manually or you can make it much more effectively with the use of Abiflexi Capture. Now let's open Abiflexi Capture. As we see, workflow is divided into four stages and they are import of M images, recognition, verification and finally export. In this particular project we are planning to process four different types of documents and therefore I pre-created four templates. By the way, Abiflexi Capture goes together with all necessary instruments for creation of templates. In case of utility bills and the invoices, each document has its own unique design, but thanks to Flexi layout technology, uh, all we had to do just to create one so-called flexible template, which will be used for processing of all differently designed documents. Now let's pass to the first stage, which is import of images. 
images can be added into the project directly from any folder or scanner but also it is uh, possible to create the image import profile uh, where one may define so-called hot folder that means that any files copied into a specific folder will be automatically added into Abiflex Capture project and this is exactly the way I'm planning to add our files right now so all I have to do just to select all our files copy them and uh, past uh, into hot folder okay here they are and uh, in a couple of seconds Abiflexi Capture will take these files and uh, add them into our product and we will see them here yeah here they are and now we are ready for the second step which is recognition I configured Abiflexi Capture so that it starts uh, recognition automatically when the files are added uh, into the project and uh, during recognition programs uh, first of all uh, converts documents into editable or search formats then it tries to identify the type of each document and as you may see uh, there were already several bills and invoices found and then it tries to capture necessary data from the documents as you may see in several cases uh, we received uh, uh, message that the file is uh, ready for export but in other cases verification is needed it happens because uh, some of the documents are received in not very good quality and uh, therefore in order to get accurate results it is necessary to verify uh, the accuracy of recognition and uh, by the way verification is the only process which requires human participation and also it is possible to configure flexi capture in such manner that verification stage will be skipped now we are ready to pass to the third stage of our workflow which is verification all we have to do is just select documents which are ready for verification and run verification. As you will see in most of the cases we will need simply to confirm accuracy of uh, data which was captured. So in this particular case everything is correct and I'm simply pressing enter button. Here also everything is right and please note that Abiflexi Capture is marking with red color the letters where level of confidence is not 100%. So here again everything is right and I simply confirm uh, recognition. Here again everything is correct. By the way Abiflexi Capture supports more than one hundred languages and uh, there are Russian, Greek and English among them. Here again everything is correct everything is correct and this is uh, uh, the first uh, data which I would like to edit I would like to have dot instead of uh, middle dash and uh, all I'm doing I'm just uh, selecting necessary symbol and press dot instead of it and confirm with enter okay now we are passing to hand typed documents and uh, some of the symbols due to not very nice handwriting were uh, recognized incorrectly so I am fixing mistakes, mistakes okay here again there is some small garbage and one letter is not correct okay here again one symbol everything is right in this case one letter here and everything is right here you see how quick we processed uh, eight documents it happened because uh, uh, Abiflexi Capture sent for verification not the whole documents but only the fields where level of confidence was below 100%.
Finally, all our documents are ready for export, and even more, one of our documents was already exported automatically. It happened because it is possible to configure RB Flexi Capture so that documents will be exported automatically in case confidence level is above certain percentage. Now, in order to proceed with the last stage, which is export, all we have to do is just to select all our documents and press an export button. Now, Abi Flexi Capture is saving initial documents in searchable PDF format in different folders according to document types and also it is recording captured data into different Excel files, also depending on document types. Finally, all our documents uh, were successfully exported and uh, we may check our output folder. So, as you may see, we have got three subfolders for utility bills, invoices and forms and each document was saved in one of these folders depending on its type. For instance, here we have got all our uh, utility bills uh, and uh, file naming is based on type of utility bill and uh, name of the payer. For instance, uh, this is electricity bill uh, issued to Abbey Software. As you may see, documents are saved in uh, searchable format, therefore you can easily copy some text for further usage in, our, in other application, or you may run a search inside this document. Uh, also, what is the most important is that uh, all data was exported into Excel file. Let's open it. So as you may see here we have got billing period, uh, payable amount, date until which uh, this amount has to be paid and some other fields. What is important, uh, you may define as much fields for export as you need. The same thing was done for other documents. For instance, let's take a look on our invoices. Yeah, Here they are, all files named according to invoice number, client name and the amount. And also information was exported into Excel file. Here we have invoice number, payer, address, date, amount of course. And finally let's take a look on our forms. They are in this subfolder. Again, uh, files are named according to the company who filled this form and here we have uh, all data exported. So as you could see it took us less than five minutes to process 15 documents to place them in appropriate subfolders and record necessary data into Excel files. But also I would like to draw your attention that uh, it is possible to define multiple export destinations for each document. For instance, let's take a look on our uh, utility bill template. And as you may see, we already have uh, one export destination, which is to save our data in Microsoft Excel file. And also initial documents are saved in searchable PDF but uh, we can easily add additional destination and it can be uh, database or share Microsoft SharePoint. As you may see, Abi Flexi Capture supports export almost to any SQL database. If you were interested by Abi Flexi Capture and want to obtain some additional information or even test our software, please write an email to our address cyprus at abby.com and we will send you relevant brochures or even free trials. Finally, I would like to thank you for your time and I hope that you enjoyed this screencast.